What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Freakyzy Gaming and welcome to another Fallout video. In today's Fallout video, I want to talk about will the Fallout 4 DLCs be worth it? Now what I mean by this is basically there are three DLCs coming out over the period of the next three months. These DLCs include Automatron in March of 2016. In April of 2016, there is going to be Wasteland Workshop. And after Wasteland Workshop in May, there is going to be the DLC Far Harbor. Now, in no way, shape, or form is this video a review video on the DLCs because the DLCs are not out yet and we have and I have yet to play those DLCs. However, as soon as those DLCs come out and as soon as they are playable, I will, I will release a full review on each and every single DLC for Fallout 4 after I play it. Now, first of all, what I mean by will the DLCs be worth it is basically on the information Bethesda has given us so far, does it seem like these three DLCs coming out over the next three months, are, are they going to be worth the money that Bethesda is charging for them? So let's sort of get straight into it. Now in March of 2016, which is next month, they are going to release Automatron. Now Automatron is going to cost $9.99, so basically $10. Uh, now, in my opinion, Automatron seems like it's going to be worth it. However, at this moment, I am unsure because they have given us limited information so far, even though it comes out next month, which is not too far away, and they should release more information regarding the DLC. However, in this DLC Automatron, there is a basically a new enemy named the Mechanist. Now, the Mechanist releases a bunch of evil robots into the wasteland, and these evil robots, you basically have to track down and kill and stop them from doing evil stuff and as you track down these robots and as you kill them you are going to be able to actually build your own robot companion and fully customize your robot companion from everything from color to voice to weapons everything like that you are going to be able to customize about your robot companion however the only robot companion confirmed uh as in this picture here is basically the sentry bot now it seems most likely the sentry bot is not going to be the only uh, companion that you could have an automatron. It also seems like you are going to be able to have uh, basically Mr. Handy or Mr. Gusty. Or if they don't add a Mr. Handy or Mr. Gusty, I think they might allow you to make some upgrades to Codsworth. Armor him all out, paint him, put some crazy ass weapons on him. I think that'd be really cool to see Codsworth sort of this robot that sort of... Uh, timid and sort of scared of everything and he's really high class it'd be really cool to see him in some beefed out armor with some awesome weapons on him uh like some plasma thrower or something really cool like that for codsworth it'd be really cool to either customize him and it'd also be really cool to get this new robot in fallout 4 basically this follower the assaultron i'm not sure if you guys know the assaultron but it's that robot that runs around on two legs and it sort of has two hands and it shoots big ass laser beam out of its head and it just completely demolishes you sometimes now that seems like it'd be really cool to have a, as a follower now the protectron the protectrons are really slow and it seems like they won't be able to follow you around the wasteland super fast so it seems like they might not be a follower and they are going to introduce the robo brain but as it has in confirmed that they are going to reintroduce the robo brain into this fallout game the robo brains are super cool and it'd be super cool to get a robo brain follower however just being able to build a robot follower and it seems like this dlc automatron is only going to give you the ability to fully customize your own robot follower and it seems like it's going to maybe add one or two quests and it seems like it may be short uh but it seems like it could be long at the same time. Again, there's not a lot of information on it. It seems like there might be a couple of quests, a couple of side quests within that DLC. It seems like you're going to have to try to stop the mechanist and kill the mechanist and stop him from being evil and stop all those robots. And it seems like maybe those robots are always going to be out in the Commonwealth. And it seems like maybe the DLC is just going to put out robots at random times. And these robots will sort of get in your way and you got to kill the robots. And you could fully customize a robot and sort of one or two quests. It, at this moment for $9.99, it does seem like the DLC is going to be worth it because, admit it, how awesome is it going to be have your own fully customized robot and to add some more quests to this already amazing game? For $9.99, seems like it might be worth it. 
However, if it doesn't add quests, and the only thing that it does add is basically a main enemy that you have to kill with just robots, and there's no quest, maybe not worth $9.99 uh, in my opinion. Now, the second DLC I want to talk about is sort of a Wasteland Workshop, which comes out in May, April of 2016, my bad. Now, Wasteland Workshop is going to be a DLC that basically gives you the ability to build cages and trap wasteland creatures like the Deathclaw, Rad Scorpion, basically any wasteland creature that you can find in the wasteland, any critter, any creature, anything that goes bump in the night, anything that tries to kill you, even raiders you could capture and supposedly you could tame them or either you could uh, have them fight to the death in an arena. Now, for five bucks, that doesn't seem like it's going to be worth it. Just be giving you the ability to build cages and trap enemies and sort of either tame them or pit them against each other. That doesn't seem like it's going to be worth five bucks to me. Because I could already build an arena and sort of just corral enemies into there uh, on my own. And that's, that's not even five dollars worth of work to do all that stuff. However, if this DLC does add stuff to the settlement guide, like sort of the settlement building, if it does add more furniture to build, if it does add more structures to build, and it does add a lot of stuff and also gives you the ability to sort of build your own cages, trap wasteland creatures, either tame them or pit them against each other, then it seems like it'd be totally worth the five bucks as long as it adds some sort of stuff to the settlement building guide, some like decorations that you could build, some furniture, some new structures and stuff like that it seems like it'd be totally worth it especially some pre-war stuff to build and put in your settlements that'd be really worth it and maybe to update so like in the settlements sometimes there'll be this rubble on the ground and it doesn't really look nice it'd be nice to clear that up in the wasteland workshop and if the wasteland workshop add, add sort of those things for you to do uh then yes it's going to be totally worth it as long as in the wasteland workshop as long as you could build those cages, trap creatures, trap raiders, tame them, or either, either pit them against each other in the arena, or, and, and also included with that, the ability to add more stuff to the settlement building guide, it seems like the Wasteland Workshop DLC would be worth it. However, if there's no, if they don't add anything to the settlement uh, building stuff, if they don't add anything be, basically to the settlement building stuff, Basically, they don't give you any new stuff to build for your settlements in Wasteland Workshop. It doesn't seem like it's going to be worth it just to basically cra capture creatures and make them fight against each other or tame them. That's not worth five bucks in my opinion. However, if they do add stuff for the settlements, then yes, Wasteland Workshop would be totally worth the five bucks. Now, moving on to the biggest DLC Bethesda has announced, which is Far Harbor, which comes out in May of 2016. Now, this DLC, in my opinion, seems like it's totally going to be worth the money that we are going to spend on it, which is $24.99, I believe, $25, bucks, almost $30, but it's $25, bucks, $24.99. Then this DLC like it's to seems like it's totally going to be worth it on the information Bethesda has already released, and it's not much. Bethesda has basically said it's going to be their largest DLC yet, and it's going to add the largest map of any DLC that they have ever created. Now, I'm not sure if you guys remember the Dragonborn DLC uh, from uh, the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, but that thing was huge. There was plenty of quests, there was plenty to explore, there was plenty of things to do in that DLC, and it was just huge, and the, that DLC offered some amazing kick-ass features, like being able to reassign your points and stuff like that. And Far Harbor is coming out, and Bethesda has confirmed that it's going to be their biggest DLC to date. It's going to add a totally different map. It's going to add new side quests. It's going to add new main quests. It's going to add new missions. It's going to add uh, new armor and weapons. It is totally going to be worth the $24.99. And yes, in my opinion, on the information Bethesda has given us so far, Far Harbor is totally going to be worth it, in my opinion, for that $24.99 because it's our largest DLC yet. And basically, off past Bethesda stuff, I have enjoyed all Bethesda's DLCs. From Fallout 3 all the way to the Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim. It seems like it is totally going to be worth the money that Bethesda is charging for it. Basically the $24.99. It seems like and since it's going to be the biggest DLC they have ever created. And since it's going to add side quest and main quest. And since it's going to add new weapons and new armor. It seems like these DLCs are totally going to be worth This DLC Far Harbor for $24.99 is totally going to be worth it. 
now let's sort of go over an overview and a review of all three just really quickly before the, before we end the video. Is Automatron going to be worth the $9.99? Yes, as long as it adds main quest and side quest and gives you the ability to have any robot follower you want, not just certain robot followers, and be able to upgrade all those robot followers completely and fully customize them. Yes, it seems like it's going to be worth the $9.99. But if not, if they don't, if they don't include side quests or main quests with the Ottoman Tron DLC, it's not going to be worth it, just in my opinion. The second DLC, Wasteland Workshop, as long as it's just not the basically the ability to build cages and sort of have these creatures fight against each other, as long as they add stuff sort of that you could build in the settlements, yes, it's totally going to be worth it. And the third DLC, Far Harbor, just off what Bethesda had said so far. That it's going to be the largest and biggest DLC. Yes, Far Harbor is going to be worth the $24.99. Anyways, that's just what I think as of right now. This is just speculation on will they be worth it or not. This wasn't a review or anything like that on those DLCs. However, when the DLCs do come out, I will do a, review, a full in-depth review on each and every single DLC released for Fallout 4. So stay tuned on the channel for that. Anyways, I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, drop that like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help the channel grow. Anyways, it's been your boy Freaky's Gaming. I love each and every single one of you. I will see you guys right back here tomorrow. And remember, stay freaky.